What if I told you there is a steak out there that you have probably never heard of before? And what if I told you the steak is rather rare because you can only get one of them at a time from each cow? And what if I told you this steak packs the perfect amount of tenderness like you would get from a filet mignon, as well as the beef flavor that you would get from a T-bone? If that's got you intrigued, then stick around for this video. All right, so what we're gonna be cooking for you today is a rare steak that's called hanger steak. Now, I'm gonna get the, we're gonna be grilling it on my Weber Smoky Mountain today, so I'm gonna get that, uh, there's a coal started up for that, and then we'll get to how to prepare this steak, uh, go over its history, and then get it on the grill and fire it up. All right, now that we've got the grill going, uh, we're gonna prepare this hanger steak here. Now, I got this hanger steak from Boot Hill 7 Ranch. It's a company here in Wyoming and Colorado. Um, they're the same folks who supply John Elway's um, steak restaurants here in Denver. And so that's who I've been using too to get this uh, hanger steak from because the problem is with hanger steak is that when you try and find it, you really just can't find it anywhere unless you go to like a specialized, uh, to a specialized uh, butcher and even then they may not carry it or maybe they are carrying it they're just keeping it for themselves because one of the names for this is called butcher steak because the butcher would keep it for himself instead of giving it to his clients so here's the way that we have to prepare hanger steak so hanger steak comes from the front of the cow and what you want and what's going on here is you got this membrane that comes down the length of the hanger steak now the problem is you can't eat this, it's like really sinewy and stuff. So what we gotta do is we gotta cut it out to then make two basically fillets, on, or two, um, yeah, fillets on each side. And that's what we're gonna be grilling on the grill. So let's get this started on that. Now I found out about hanger steak at some restaurant that I went to in uh, Virginia and um, didn't know what it was, but it looked relatively cheap. Uh, it covered everything else that they had on the menu, and so I got it, and I was just blown away by the flavor, and I was like, ooh, I gotta have this more often. So as you can see, we cut the first part of the uh, membrane here, but you gotta trim this little part off too. So if you see white, that's the membrane, you just gotta cut it off. That's what I get for not sharpening my mind. My knives are better. Should be slicing through. But there we go. So we got the first one, as you can see. And this one's a little thin on this side, so um, we'll see how fast that grills up. You typically see a little bit bigger like we will on this side here. So let's get this side trimmed up. Just all of it here. Now, if you want to, you can see where it isn't isn't and you can trim this stuff off and you know make yourself fajitas or something like that as well all right yeah see that's a lot better this is going to make some good eating here uh, like i said it's almost like filet mignon size and, that, and it has the tenderness of it but man it just packs so much beef flavor it's kind of crazy so i'm going to keep it relatively simple today um i would suggest if you're trying this for the first time I would say do olive oil, salt, and pepper. That's it. And just let the beef flavor come through. I'm gonna be a little bit lazy today though, and I'm just gonna use my uh, standby Montreal seasoning. So what I'm doing here is I just got Pam olive oil. This is how I usually apply olive oil to steaks. It's just an easy way to get a, a good even coating on them. Just sprinkle my seasoning on there. Like I said, you don't want to get over too much uh, seasoning on here because, like I said, you want the beef flavor to really come through. But it's nice to add, just, you know, just a little bit of an accoutrement to the taste. Okay, let's get these on the grill and uh, get and get started on cooking them. Okay, let's up the temperature. Those coals look good. Let's get these hanger steaks onto the grill. Now what we're gonna to want to do is uh, just throw them directly over the heat. We're gonna be grilling them to medium rare today. If you grill them any higher, 
You have to question your motives about what you like in steak, man, because this is just a perfect steak to be grilled to medium rare. Let's get a nice good sear on that steak. It's about time to get these steaks flip. one more time and I think we'll be good to go. Check the temperature after this. All right, let's just see if we got these up to the proper temp. Looking like we may need Maybe a few more minutes. I'm going to flip them one more time and then maybe 30 seconds later we'll get them off the grill. God, it smells good. All right, let's get these babies off the grill. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That doesn't make her mouth water. I don't know what will. All right, let's let uh, these rest for about seven to 15 minutes and then we'll have ourselves a bite. Okay, these uh, hanger steaks have been resting for about 10 minutes now and I just can't wait any longer. So let's give it a cut into so you guys can see what it's like. Look at that. I'm barely even touching the meat and it's just coming apart. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Yeah, you can just see, this is why, how you can tell it's so tender. You see, just, just by the texture. Can you see the texture of the meat and how tender that looks, like filet mignon does? Yeah, like a tender one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now let's, I'm gonna cut myself a piece here. Okay, now let's give this a try. I just finished cutting that piece that you just saw, and now let's see how it turned out. Mm-hmm. Man, I, it's just, man, the, the, these steaks, the, the best way I can describe these steaks, it's like if you took a filet mignon, which let's be honest with ourselves, don't have a lot of flavor to them, and you just like soaked it in beef broth for, I don't know, hours or days. I don't know. It's just like, that's how much beef flavor just hits you with this steak. And yeah, I'm gonna have another try it out. Yep, yep, I'm gonna have to take these and go finish them off with the wife. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe. I'll be making a whole bunch more things on uh, steak and other cuts of meat here in the future. So thanks for watching, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.